All right, this is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 29. And in this video, we're going to be learning uh, about the totals below method, for lack of a better phrase. That is not an official math term here. Um, it's just an alternate algorithm for teaching addition to our students. Really, the idea of Common Core is that we don't want to teach just algorithms that students are blindly going to memorize. Instead, we want everything to make sense. Um, and so this uh, is an effort to teach an alternate algorithm to help students um, make sense of addition. All right. Now, for students who totally understand the standard algorithm, I want you to try and teach this new method, this totals below method, because it does lead nicely into some more advanced math, in particular fractions, uh, adding fractions, where there is no such thing as this like regrouping method. So uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So on this left problem, I'll solve it using the standard algorithm using uh, bundling and regrouping. So we've got three ones plus eight ones. That gives us 11 ones. So we are going to write one one, and we're going to bundle 10 of those together, and we're going to regroup it into the tens column. All right, and then, and that's the whole idea right here, is this regrouping thing doesn't occur in fractions. And so that's why it's not a bad idea to teach this alternate algorithm here. Um, but it's not a battle we're going to fight too hard if the students, as long as the students understand the standard algorithm, we're going to be cool. But let's keep going here. So we've regrouped or bundled, and now we have two tens plus four tens plus one ten. That gives us seven tens. So our answer is 71. Now with this total totals below method, what we're going to do is we're going to add our units together and just record them uh, below. For example, uh, we have three ones plus eight ones, so that gives us eleven ones. So I'm going to record eleven ones. And then we've got two tens plus four tens, that gives us six tens, so that's sixty. So I'm going to record it right here, 60, and now we're going to add those together. So now we have 1, 1 plus 0, 1's, that gives us 1, and we have 1, 10 plus 6, 10's, that gives us 7, 10's, so that's 70, and of course you can see we have the same answer. And so for the rest of this video, we're going to be kind of playing with this method just because it's worth it. Uh, to have students try it and try and understand it. So let's do that. So this problem here, we've got eight ones plus seven ones, and that gives us 15 ones. And then we have four tens plus two tens, that's six tens, so that's 60. So 40 plus 20 is 60. And now we're going to add those together. So we have 5 plus 0 is 5. And then we have 110 plus 610, so that's 70. So the answer is 75. Now, if we wanted to, we can show students why this is working. So we could, if we wanted to, we can model this with a place value chart. And we can show them that 48 is modeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 48. And 27 is modeled 1, 2. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we can show that student, we can show students that when we add 8 ones plus uh, seven ones, that gives us 15 ones. <clears throat> and then we can see that four tens plus two tens equals 60. So we have 60 plus five, uh, sorry, 60 plus 15, that gives us 75. So we can see why these are connected this way. So let's do this next problem over here. So we have eight ones plus three ones. That gives us 11 ones. <clears throat> then we have 
one ten plus seven tens. Uh, you know what? I think I can zoom in. Let's do that. There we go. Nice. And now I've got one ten plus seven tens. That gives us eight tens. So that's eighty. And so I'm going to record eighty right here. So we have eleven, and now we have eighty. And then I have a hundred plus nothing down here, so that gives us a hundred. And now we can add all these together. So we've got one plus zero plus zero, so that gives us one in the ones column. We have one plus eight plus zero, so that's nine. So we end up with ninety, or nine in the tens column. And then we have nothing, nothing, plus 100. That leaves us with 1 in the hundreds column. So our answer is 191. Now, if we wanted to, I could show how that's connected to our place value chart. <clears throat> but I think I'm going to skip that for this part. I think you as the teacher or you as the parent understand what's going on here. Just one more practice. Uh, so we've got... 8 ones plus 2 ones, that gives us 10 ones. So I'll record 10 ones. And then we have 8 tens plus 2 tens, that gives us 10 tens. So that's 100. 10 tens is equal to 100. So I'm going to record that here 100. And then we have 100 plus no hundreds, that gives us one more 100. And so we end up with. Nothing in the ones column. Zero plus zero plus zero gives us nothing. And then we have one ten plus no tens plus no tens, so that gives us one ten. And then we have a hundred and another hundred, that gives us two hundreds. So our answer is two hundred and ten. Now, of course, we could connect that to the standard algorithm or compare it with the standard algorithm. In which case we say, all right, 8 plus 2 is 10, so that's going to be 0 with a bundle, an extra bundle being regrouped. And then we have 8 tens plus 2 tens plus 1 ten, so that's 11 tens. So that means we can have 1 ten left over and bundle 10 tens together. And then we have 100 plus 100 equals 200. So, of course, we get the same exact answer, but the idea for this lesson is to teach students the idea of this totals below method, and it's a totally unofficial title, um, but this alternate algorithm. And the last problem, Daniel counted 67 apples on one tree and 79 apples on another tree. How many apples were on both trees? And so... Uh, we could use a, a, a number di uh, tape diagram to model this. We can show one tree is 67, another tree is 79, and we want to know what's the total on both trees. So that's the classic tape diagram that uh, students might draw, and let's record that or solve that. So we're going to stack it up vertically, so we've got 67 plus 79, and they are asking us to specifically practice this totals below method, so let's do it, let's honor that. So we've got 7 ones plus 9 ones, that gives us 16, so that's 16 ones. And then we have 6 tens plus 7 tens, so that's 13 tens, so that's 130. And now we can add that together. So we have 6 plus 0 gives us 6. And then we have 1 10 plus 3 tens, that gives us 4 tens. And then we have no hundreds plus 100, that gives us 100. So our answer is 146 apples. And that's Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 29, where we're using this standard algorithm just to develop a deeper understanding of addition. 
and uh, give students a second chance to really understand what they're doing.